This video is about, I'll show you how to use the, the manage um, uh, menu. The manage is for storing and retrieving data. Uh, when you turn the instrument on, you go to the home screen and on the home screen, you've got quick survey, program, manage, transfer, settings and tools. You can press number three or press manage every red button enter and here you will have there's two pages page one out of two um you got job you got fixed points you got measure data codes formats and delete data the first one is a job is to create job you press enter and at the moment for example we have an existing job there are nine jobs in total and this job is number six out of the nine. If I press the arrow, I scroll through the jobs and you can see that you have various jobs. You can either select the job that you want to be, for example, um, Gabriel Piles, Gabriel Drainage, or you can go through the list by seeing the list of all the job names and then you can scroll downwards and select the job that you want. Um, alternatively, as I said, you can scroll through the right and left. If you want to create a new job, you create new, press new, and the job name becomes is highlighted. You can enter the job. For example, we want to create a job uh, it's called control. So what you do best thing is um, the first job is you create it's called control. So um, I'm going to create right for example if an, as soon as you start typing you're on the numbers mode you can see three four five that shows that you're on the numbers mode. If you want to enter letters you press the ABC then you can either clear or delete. And for example, I want to write FIN for Finchley. I can write, for example, Finchley. I can put a space, is not after Z is the space, or you can use the line here. So pressing number three three times, you've created a space, and then you type control. Press enter. You can write your own name, the operator's name, for example, if you want to. This is only used if there are other people on, on site that they are using it. Otherwise, you don't need to enter that for yourself. The remarks one and two is just notes for yourself. For example, what the job is all about. It could be, a, for example, a job about surveying an area or setting out an area or whatever. That's just a remark for yourself. The date and once you press enter, the date and the time will be created. So we're pressing continue. Data is saved. The job is created and is number um, 10. So there are 10 jobs in now. And by pressing continue again, this job will be set as the current job. So now you this your current job. So after you've created a job, what you want to do is to enter some points into it. So you go to the fixed points, enter, and because it's just a new job, you can see Finchley control, there are no points in the memory, it's all blank. So we create a point, for example, we call um, a retro one by Palta new, you have to click on new, and then you press R, for example, for retro, and then you press number one four times. Press enter. So we are on retro one. For example, the E thing, for example, is 125.256. Northing, for example, 258.649. And height, for example, 12.356. The code we don't need to enter, 
I press continue. The point will be saved and the number will be incremented by 1 so you now have R2. R2 is not used yet, is available to be used so the next point you enter will be saved as R2 unless you change its name. So for example R2 is 156.332 Nosing two six um sorry two two six nine point six five four and a height for example fifteen meters. Continue. Just before you continue, you double check that you have entered correctly, that there are no errors. You press continue. And that's it, and it's just saved, and then you go to the next one, R3, and so on. So this is how you can enter points manually as fixed points into the instrument memory. Um, if you press continue, it will save that again under R3. So we're going to press escape and we're going to ignore that. So now we can see we've got R1 with those values and we've got R2 with those values. If I had made a mistake, for example, I made, hang on, it should have been 15.1 for the height. I can press edit. I can go and change that to 15.1, continue, and that is data is saved, and now R2 is shown as 15.1. You can delete a point, or you can create a new point, or you can find, you can use any of these submenus to find. It. Um, so if I want to create a new one, I press new. For example, this time I want to type station. I'll write, for example, station 1 and a new coordinate, for example, 564.258, 865.114, and a height of, for example, 126.456 meters. Any values that you have, you will enter in there and you press continue. So, in this video, what we learn is the how to create a job and how to enter points into the memory and then how to view them by pressing back. You can go back and you can see that you got R1, you got R2, and you got Station 1. And you can view them, you can edit them. For example, if I want to delete, you can press delete and it says sure to delete the data. Data is not recoverable. You press yes, I want to delete, and that job is deleted. Thank you for watching this video. It was a video about a data manager on a TSO6+. Plus. My name is Reza Novart. I'm the teacher, trainer and assessor at Finchley College. For more information about the courses, please visit finchleycollege.com. Thanks for watching and I hope you um, subscribe to our channel. Thanks.